On the left, we've got the 338 Win Mag, a favorite among elk hunters and also other large game hunters as well. On the right, we got the 338 Lapua, which is a favorite for long range, as well as some hunting applications as well. As the name suggests, both of these cartridges are firing a 338 diameter projectile, so what I'm wanting to know in today's video is just how different these cartridges are on steel penetration. This is a Steel Sled V2, and if you can remember from the last video, I was pretty underwhelmed by the performance of it. But this is all I have for right now, so this is what we're going to have to go ahead and use. Hopefully, not for very long though. Real quick, let's go ahead and get the velocity so we can figure out just how much energy these cartridges are putting out. Well, I certainly can't complain about those numbers right there. We averaged 3,042 feet a second, and the box was claiming 3,030 feet a second, so that's pretty good. Well, unfortunately, it only captured one of those shots, but we were getting 2,667 feet a second. So the plan is we're going to go ahead and start small, if you could consider either of these cartridges small, and then shoot the larger one after that. So let's go ahead and start with the 338 Win Mag. Should we even start with a quarter inch, though? Because I think we know that both of these magnums are going to go through. Alright, you convinced me to start with a quarter inch. Let's go ahead and put this piece right in there. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's not too shabby of a hole if I've ever seen one. That looks pretty good as expected. And now it's time for the big boy. I think we all saw this coming, but we got another clean pass through. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Garbage. 3 8 inch plate now. Whoops. 3 8 inch plate now. There we go. So far so good, looking like a clean pass through right there. If the 338 Win Mag can do it, I'm not guaranteeing anything, but I think the 338 Lapua could do it as well. Let's go ahead and see. Well, it looks like I made the right assumption, but 3 8 inch, get that garbage out of here. These are magnums. It's time for a half inch plate. And I think we're good to go. Based on previous testing, I think that both of these cartridges have a pretty good chance of going through that half inch plate, but let's go ahead and see. Man, that one was too low. But it looks like it was going through. Let's go ahead and do it again. There we go. Now that's more like it right there. It went straight through that half inch plate, which I was kind of expecting, but didn't know for sure. Like I said before, if the 338 Win Mag can do it, let's not make any assumptions. Let's go ahead and shoot the 338 Lapua. It looks like our assumption was correct. The 338 Lapua went through, so if the 338 Win Mag could do it, then I'm pretty sure the 338 Lapua can as well. I can't believe I'm saying this. Well, actually, I kind of can, but we're going all the way up to the three-quarter inch plate. This thing is an absolutely massive plate that not many dare to cross. But we're going to cross it today. I really don't know if either of these cartridges have a chance with that behemoth, but we can try. Yep, that's kind of what I was expecting right there. It definitely didn't go through. But that 338 Win Mag compared to that Lapua is kind of weak. I think the Lapua might have a better chance of going through. That 338 Lapua absolutely smashed that plate, but no dice. It really doesn't look that much different than the 338 Win Mag. That 3 quarter inch plate is an absolute beast. I don't know what it would take to go through that. Maybe if the 338 Lapu had an armor piercing or something. Anyways, let's go back to the bench and see which one penetrated deeper. Because it's time to grind! <laughs> Well, 
Well, I guess we better get some measuring done. So let's get to it. Before I tell you the numbers, keep in mind that I measured each of the holes multiple times to make sure that we're getting the most accurate depths possible. Anyways, how'd we do? So the 338 Lapua penetrated 0.208 inches. The 338 Win Mag, on the other hand, penetrated 0.303 inches. Guys, that's nearly a hundred thousandths more than the 338 Lapua. I never in a million years would have guessed that it would have penetrated deeper than the 338 Lapua, but I guess it was also going about 350 feet a second faster, which helped it out in this test for sure. One of the biggest things we have to keep in mind for this test though was that I was using a heavy bullet in the 338 Lapua because that's what it's geared around, and the 338 Win Mag was using a 200 grain SST, which is 85 grains lighter than the 338 Lapua. So the velocity definitely helped the 338 Win Mag out in this case. The real question is though, how come both of these cartridges can go through a half inch of mild steel pretty easily, but whenever they go up to three quarter inch, they're not even close to going a half inch deep? Well, I found this walking back and I think that this is gonna explain everything. Now you may be thinking to yourself, what exactly was it that he just showed me? Good question. This is a steel wad that's formed whenever a traditional bullet penetrates a steel plate. Essentially, I'm gonna show you how it works. Coming in hot on the right is a traditional style bullet that does not contain anything harder than the mild steel plate, so essentially no penetrators or armor piercing inserts or anything like that. Anyways, what's happening once it hits the mild steel plate is that it starts to deform it, and basically if it has enough kinetic energy and velocity, it'll actually shear out the back right here, which creates this wad. So basically what we're seeing with traditional bullets on mild steel tests is not the bullet itself going through, but rather it is punching this whole wad out on the back. In the case of this three quarter inch plate though, essentially what we were seeing is that neither one of these traditional bullets had enough kinetic energy or velocity to shear out the back. So what we see is this crater right here, which is the actual penetration depth. So there you go. I really think that's what's happening on all these traditional bullet tests on mild steel, but I could be wrong. Anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and learned something. Thanks so much for watching and remember, don't let ballistics drive you bananas.